Hello everyone, Devjyoti here from oevc2.com and today in this video tutorial I am going to teach you how to create a professional sticky transparent header by using free version of the Elementor. It's very used to create a sticky header by using pro version of the Elementor but in this tutorial I am going to teach you how you can create sticky transparent header by using free version of the Elementor. Here whatever the plugin I am going to use everything will be free of cost. I already make a dedicated video on how to create a transparent sticky header by using pro version of the Elementor. Link I will give in the video description as well as in the i button. If you want you can watch that also. So as you can see here in the header in the top there will be a top bar that contain my phone number, email id, address and social media link. And after that in the sticky session here you can see logo and main menu bar with a beautiful search icon also and when I click on the search icon as you can see here the search bar will appear like that and it's totally responsive. Let me show you that also. Let me click in the inspect element. So as you can see here that is the mobile preview as you can see it's coming just perfectly. It's really looking awesome. Even let me change the tablet preview also. So in the tablet preview also as you can see it's working perfectly. So now without wasting time, let me start to create this header. Suppose that is my website. I does not have any header. So now I am going to creating the header. For creating the header, I need couple of plugins. So for that, first of all, come back to the dashboard. And after that, I have to hover on the plugin. And next, I have to click in the add new option. First of all, you have to search for the Elementor. From there, you have to install and activate. Elementor website builder. I already installed and activated it, so I am not going to do it again. Next, I need this one Elements Kit Elementor add on. Click in the install now. Next, I have to click in the activate option. Again, I have to click in this add new option. I need another plugin also. Just search for the sticky header effect for Elementor. I have to install this plugin sticky header effect for Elementor. Once it installed successfully, I have to click in the activate option. So now before creating the header, I have to create the menu. For creating the menu, I have to hover on the appearance and after that I have to click in the menus option. Now for creating a new menu, I have to click in this option create a new menu. So now I have to enter my menu name. I am giving the menu name as main menu and here I am selecting primary. Next I have to click in the create menu option. Let me come back to the view all option. So from there I am selecting home page, blog page, about us page, contact us page, shop page, testimonial page. After that let me click in the add to menu option. Now let me arrange them little bit like after home that will be about next testimonial after that shop page after that blog page and contact page after that let me click in the save menu option so my menu already created next i have to hover on that and after that i have to click in the header and footer option you will get this setup window so from there choose the custom option scroll down and after that i have to click in the next step again next step again next step next step again next step and after that i have to click in the save change so now again let me click in the header and footer option so now i have to create a template click in the add new title i am giving as my header you can give any title from the type header should be selected and in the condition the entire side should be selected and after that you have to click in the on option after that you have to click in the save changes next again you have to click in the my header and after that you have to click in the edit content option so now i have to create the top bar i mean this one so now let me come back here click in the plus option i am taking single row and three column after that let me click in the plus option here now let me search for the icon box here you can see the icon box just drag and drop it here like that click in this and from here let me search for the phone icon i am taking this one click in the insert option and here in the title i have to enter my phone number that is plus 9178424600057 content i does not require so just remove that icon position that will be left title html tag make it paragraph tag now directly come back to the style option spacing i am taking 12 after size i am taking 12 again now come back to the content spacing make it zero next i have to click in the typography front size suppose i am taking 14 after that I have to adjust the line height also. I think 9 will be perfect. Next, come back to the advanced option. Here you can see the width. Make it inline auto. After that, just right click here and click in the duplicate. Next, click in the edit option for the second one. First of all, let me give some margin. Click in the advanced option. Unlock the margin. Margin left. Let me take 15 pixel. Now come back to the content. Click in this. And from here, let me search for the envelope. Suppose I am taking this icon. Click in the insert option. After that, in the title, I have to enter my email ID. So now, Again let me copy this one, come back here, right click and click in the paste option. Now click in this and come back here, 
let me search for the map icon from here suppose i am taking this icon click in the insert after that in the title i have to enter my address after that directly come back here click in the plus option and here i have to search for the social drag and drop the social icon here by default facebook twitter and youtube is there you have to click on that and here you have to enter your facebook link similarly here you have to enter the twitter link and after that here you have to enter your youtube channel link suppose you want to add the instagram also so what i have to do i have to click in the add item option from here i have to click in this and here i have to search for the instagram icon suppose i am taking this one click in the insert option and after that here you have to enter the instagram channel link next let me come back to the style option color make it custom primary color i am choosing black color now size suppose i am taking 9 remaining here i am keeping as it is spacing let me make it 6 so after that just hover on that and i have to click in the edit session option from there vertical aligned i have to make it middle next come back to the style option click in the gradient option the top color i am taking this yellow color let me decrease the opacity a little bit and bottom color i am taking white color okay i think it's looking quite perfect so next again i have to click in the plus option now let me take single row and two column now just drag it and make it around 30 percent after that I have to click in this plus option and here I need an image let me search for the image drag and drop the image here and here I need the logo from the media library suppose I am taking this one click in the insert media in the alignment I have to make it left aligned and in the link actually you have to click in the custom URL and after that you have to copy your website link I mean home page link and you have to paste it after that come back to the style option the width I am making around 84 percent I think let me make it 20 yeah now it's looking quite good so after that I have to click in this plus option and here I have to search for the menu so here you can see the elements kit nav menu just drag and drop it here like and from this drop down I am selecting main main position I am making it right another thing I forgot I have to click in this and the vertical aligned I have to make it middle now again let me click in the edit option here from here you have to select the breakpoint I am choosing tablet only next I have to come back to the advanced option from here with I have to make it inline auto after that again I have to click in this and let me search for the search option here you can see the header search just drag and drop it here like that even for this one also come back to the style option first of all let me change the color so from here suppose i am taking this orange color next come back to the advanced option the width i am making it inline auto after that i have to click in this edit column option horizontal aligned i have to make it end after that now let me click in this edit option for the menu come back to the style option here you can see the menu height i have to make it 60 now again let me come back to the content after that let me click in the mobile menu setting so from here i have to add the mobile menu logo mobile menu logo means actually if you come back to the demo website let me switch back to the responsive preview first of all so if you click in this toggle option so here you can see one logo that is the mobile logo hope you can see that so now let me come back here click in this plus option and from the media library suppose i am taking this logo click in the insert option and from here you have to update the hamburg icon also so click in this let me search for the line and from here i am taking this icon click in the insert option so now again come back to the style option so in the style option come back to the menu item style so for the normal i am taking this color for the hover suppose i am choosing this blue color and for the active one i am taking dark black color okay it's coming perfectly as you can see here now let me click on the update so now let me check my menu is coming or not let me refresh the page once so as you can see here my menu is coming perfectly but at this moment it is not sticky menu or a transparent menu i'll do that later before that make the menu fully responsive so for that i have to click in this edit session option for the top bar because i want to show the top bar only in the desktop devices i don't want to show the top bar in mobile or tablet devices so after selecting come back to the advanced option here you can see a responsive option click on that enable hide on tablet and hide on mobile now i have to click in the responsive preview from there let me first of all click in the tablet preview so as you can see here in the tablet preview it's coming like that first of all let me increase the column width for the logo column suppose i'm making it 30 now click in this i mean for the remaining i'm making it 70 okay now it's looking quite cool now let me click this so as you can see it's coming like that but i want this background should be black color so for that what i have to do here you can see in the style option in the menu wrapper here you can see the mobile menu wrapper background and for the tablet let me make it black color okay it's coming like that let me change the logo come back to the content mobile menu settings click in this and from the media library 
let me take a light logo i mean white color logo click in the insert media you can come back to the style option let me click this okay now it's looking quite good now come back to the menu item style so here i have to change the color for the normal i am taking light gray color after that for the hover i am choosing this blue color and for the active one i am choosing the white color click in the typography suppose the size i am taking 18 remaining i am keeping as it is as you can see when i hover the color gets changed in similar manner let me switch back to the mobile device also so in the mobile devices first of all in the style option click in the menu wrapper the width i have to decrease a little bit i think 250 will be perfect okay next come back to the menu item style click in the typography i think 16 pixel will be good for the mobile so now i need some customization and in the mobile devices as you can see my logo is coming in one row and this hamburg icon and the search icon is coming in another row for fixing that i have to click in this edit column option for the logo suppose i am taking 60 now click in this and make it for okay now it's looking quite perfect so now let me click in this hamburg icon click in the style come back to the hamburg style so here you can see the close toggle close toggle is nothing but this one here you can see one white color box that is the close toggle so from here the color i am choosing white color even in the hover also first of all click in the background and from here i am choosing white color remaining here i am keeping as it is now let me click in the update option come back to my website refresh the website once now let me check the mobile and tablet preview how it's looking so that is the tablet preview now let me click on that okay it's coming perfectly again let me click on that now let me choose the mobile devices so even in the mobile devices also as you can see it's coming perfectly the toolbar is overlapping it's not really looking good actually i already logged in so this admin bar is coming you can do one thing just open the website in a new incognito window paste the url and from here we can easily check the responsive preview just right click and after that i have to click on the inspect element so as you can see it's coming perfectly even for the tablet devices also as you can see it's working just perfectly let me close this one after that let me switch back to the desktop preview now i have to make this menu a sticky menu as you can see here it is not sticky menu so for that what you can do i have to click in this edit session option i mean this one now i have to come back to the advanced option so here you can see sticky header effect i have to enable that and from here you have to select on which device you want the sticky menu suppose i want the sticky menu only for the desktop devices so i am disabling tablet and mobile next scroll distance in pixel after how much scroll the sticky menu should appear suppose i am making it 160 pixel let me update come back here refresh the page once now scroll down a little bit so as you can see here my sticky menu is coming perfectly but there is no background i have to add a background so for that again come back here here you can see the background color just enable that and from here i am choosing white color and after that i have to decrease the opacity a little bit i think that's perfect next again i have to click in the update option come back here now depress the page once now scroll down a little bit okay now it's looking quite perfect and if you want after some time when i scrolling the page the sticky menu should disappear then what you have to do again i have to come back here scroll down hide header on scroll down scroll duration let me make it 600 now let me click in the update option come back here and refresh the page once now if you scroll down as you can see the sticky menu is appearing perfectly but if i scroll more after some time it disappeared but if i scroll up little bit as you can see again the sticky menu is coming perfectly but for the tablet devices or mobile devices as you can see the sticky menu is not working because as you can see here i choose the sticky menu is available only for the desktop even if you change the preview in the mobile devices also here also you can see this sticky menu is not working if you want that it's quite easy just you have to enable the tablet if you want the stick menu on tablet and if you want the stick menu on the mobile also then you have to choose the mobile and after that you have to click in the update option if you do this now let me refresh the page once so as you can see my sticky menu is working perfectly here also but in the mobile devices actually the sticky menu will not look good so let me delete the mobile from here now let me click in the update option so hope you understand how to create the header and after that how to convert that header sticky and transparent by using free resources i am ending the video tutorial here if you have any kind of doubt always you can ask me in the comment section thank you have a nice day